Hi everyone, thank you for visiting my channel Engineering Demystified. The main aim of this video is to understand the starting air system of the Sulzer RTA engine. Before I get into the video, I'd like to give credits for all the images taken. All images in this video are taken from the site marinediesels.co.uk. The image you see in front of you is the starting air system of the Sulzer RTA engine. As you can see, it basically consists of an air bottle, the starting air valve, the starting main starting air valve, the air distributor, the turning air interclocks, and the valve assembly, solenoid valves as well as pneumatic valves. Okay, now before we actually get to know the working of the air start system, we have to know the purpose and the function of each individual components. For that, we initially take the main air start automatic valve. The figure you see in front of you is the starting air automatic valve. As you can see, there is a spindle with a handle at the end of the wheel. The hand wheel is rotated in the closed position, rotated and the spindle is brought to the manual closed position when the ship is at finish with the engines or the engines are no longer needed. Hence, the, uh, the spindle is pressed against the seat and then no and hence no air passes through the valve. Now when the ship is ready for movement and you are preparing the engine for st uh, starting, we actually turn the hand wheel over here and bring it to the automatic position. Now in this position what happens is the air from the manifold comes on top of the piston, on, on, top of the, on the top part of the valve and through these balancing bows goes to the bottom portion. And thus you see the springs over here. These springs as well as the air acting below the valve helps to keep it in the closed position when the valve is in the automatic condition. Now imagine you are giving a start signal. When you are giving a start signal what happens is this solenoid valve gets actuated. The control valve that we mentioned a bit earlier gets actuated and the air from beneath the valve gets vented. Now once this air from beneath the valve gets vented there is no air pressure acting below. Only thing that is keeping the valve closed is the spring pressure. Hence, the 30 bar air acting on top of the valve will push the valve open, passing through the non-return valve and go to the starting air manifold. I hope this much is clear. Now, if this is not working, suppose for some case the control valve does not work, then what you can do is you can just manually, there is a test valve over here, which you can manually open and thus open the main air starting air valve. Next, we come to the starting air distributor. As you can see, there is a servo servo piston over here there is a cam there is a piston there is a pilot valve pilot valve followers there's a spring as well as two valves one is a solenoid valve another one is a pneumatic valve now for this to understand this operation you have to understand that we once we give a kick depending on whether it is ahead or astern the corresponding starting air signal whether it is ahead or ahead air or astern air will come to the starting air distributor and hence will actuate the servo piston supposing it is the air ahead start signal that comes it goes on top of the piston pushes it down thus bringing the ahead cam into picture after that it goes and actually it goes and waits at the starting air cutoff valve now when you get the start signal this cutoff valve gets actuated and the air passes through the cutoff valve goes and actuates the punct uh, the pneumatic valve where air is already waiting from the starting air manifold now this air passes through this valve goes to the bottom of the starting air distributor pushes the pilot valve on to the cam in this case it is the ahead cam because we the, the piston pushed came down and the ahead cam was brought into picture so the pilot valve follower engages with the ahead cam once the pilot valve follower is at the base circle of the cam what happens is the air is allowed to pass through the distributor and into the respective cylinder start air valve based on the timing of the starting air distributor now when the valve is not when the pilot valve is not to be used is not in use the spring brings the piston the the pilot valve forgive me moves it away from the cam moves the pilot valve away from the cab. Now what you see is a starting air valve for a Sulzer engine. In the Sulzer engine, there is an operating piston which is stepped in nature. 
there's a smaller piston and there is a bigger piston air acts on both sides of the piston during valve operation when you have got air again is obtained from the starting air manifold through a flame trap there's a pneumatic control valve which gets actuated depending on whether you want to close the valve or open the valve when you're going to open the valve what happens is the pneumatic valve gets actuated air gets inter, uh, entered air enters the top part of the piston which is the smaller piston it gets pushed down and as a result the valve opens after some time when you want to close the valve the pneumatic piston pneumatic control valve gets de-energized as a result the top part gets vented off and the bottom part gets the air hence the piston gets pushed up as a result the valve closes now, once you have understood this much it's time we can actually go and make sense of the starting air diagram now this is the air bottle you see over here at the left more 16 this is the air bottle having air at 30 bar once you open the air bottle what happens is air then goes to two, two different directions one is to the top part of the starting air main starting air valve another is to the turning gear interlock if the turning gear is activated which means the engine is in closed is in shutdown condition the air will not go beyond this turning air interlock however once the turning gear is disengaged the air passes through this interlock and goes to the valve assembly the solenoid valve assembly as well as the pneumatic control assembly now depending on the direction you give the kick be it ahead or astern the corresponding solenoid valves get activated supposing for this moment we take an ahead moment hence at this time two solenoid valves get actuated one is a start and another one is the ahead solenoid valve when both these get actuated as you can see the air passes through them goes and hits the pneumatic control valve now this pneumatic control valve gets actuated air passes through the ahead pneumatic control valve goes to the top of the piston servo piston of the distributor pushes the piston down brings the ahead cam into fact into play goes to the starting air cutoff valve passes i mean uh, passes through that and then actuates the pneumatic valve through which the air from the manifold passes goes below the radial distributor pushes the pilot valve onto the cam and thus when the pilot valve engages with the cam once it reaches the base circle of the cam the air is allowed through the pilot valve and into the respective cylinder valves air start valves of each cylinder depending on the timing of the distributor okay now that is for the ahead valve actuation we have not yet seen the start air i mean start solenoid actuation once the start solenoid is actuated air passes through that goes through the pneumatic control valve pneumatic control valve gets actuated air passes through control valve comes here goes through here gets and actuates the control valve over here which is in the bottom part of the air start automatic valve once this gets activated the air beneath i mean in the bottom part of the automatic valve gets vented out hence as previously discussed only the spring force is keeping the valve shut thus 30 bar which is acting on top of the valve pushes the valve open passes through the non-return valve goes to the starting air manifold and hence enters the respective cylinder through i mean to which the pilot air was given through the, to by, by the starting air distributor i hope this has been clear if there is still any doubt persisting please do not hesitate to get in touch in the comment section below thank you so much for watching have a nice day